what's going on guys welcome back i hope everybody's having a great day okay guys we have some more objects on here that look like they're intelligently made or at least they stand out from their surroundings this is the photo here or photos i took it from and you can see it here it's from uh, mars and you got the uh, msl sol 610 we're just going to go back down here and i'm going to show you reason why i got all of these photos picked up uh actually just shown right here because i'm going to show you this at the uh, uh, almost at the end of the video so stay tuned right okay this is the photo we're looking at and you might say well okay i see nothing but rocks and you'd be right but ha let's have a better look this is the photo we're looking at we're just going to jump right into photoshop okay and we're just going to drop way down to here for a second and of course you can see uh, the msl or the mars uh, science laboratory right here um now i'm just going to show you one of the smaller objects and then i'm going to show you a larger one let's jump into this there's something here that just, if it's a rock, man, it's pretty cool looking. And although it's kind of vague, it's still nonetheless, it's there, right? This right here, look at this object. Right here, you've got this, what looks like this, uh, right here, it's going like this, going across, coming back down. It just looks like it's going in a little bit. So it kind of looks like it's squared up, but there's something coming right out of, from the inside of it. At least that's the way it appears, right? And going into this whiter object... I couldn't tell you what that is, but whatever it is. Now, check the way this thing is actually made, right? And you can see the bottom of it doing this. And it's buried in the sand. So what the hell is that, guys? Look at that. And it's actually docking here. You can see it here all the way in, inside this area, this squared off area. Now, I'm going to zoom in so you guys can have a better look. Now, I'm going to jump into one that's larger, right to the right of this. Look at this. What is this object here? I'm going to pause for a moment let you guys look at it. And I'm going to tell you what I think I'm seeing here. Now, I'm not saying it is, but my pareidolia, right? Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and rotate this a little bit for you guys. Now, what's the first thing that pops into your mind? You could look at it this way, which is pretty much straight up, the way that it comes in the photo. And then we're going to just rotate a little bit to this way. I'll tell you the first thing that popped in my mind, this. Look at the backside of this thing right here. Coming down. And it looks like it stops right there and it has this wheel well here. Now, is it an old military Jeep? Not saying that's what it is. I'm saying it's the first thing that popped in my mind when I saw this object. Now, if you notice too, if we just go, go like this, go to the RGB. Again, I'm seeing this going like this. Let's see, it's kind of rounded, going across. Well, it kind of went screwy there. But it looks like it's stopping right here. It does this, goes up and around. And, of course, we don't see it because it looks like there's some kind of weird rock coming out of this. If it was, in fact, this weird whatever vehicle or whatever it may be. But check this out. The funny thing about it is this thing slopes down. It has a nice 90 degree or at least pretty close to a 90 degree angle. And it's doing this. And it's to accommodate this other pot, pot right here. And you can see what it looks like. If you look right here, it's got these weird designs. And you see the spaces in between. What is that? And it looks like the back here, it looks like it's part of it, and I could be wrong, but it kind of looks like it's the back of it. See that? I'm going to just zoom back out a little bit, right there. And there you go. What could that possibly be? Now, again, some people say oh, it's nothing but it's pareidolia. And I'm saying it looks like this weird rear end of this, this uh, military Jeep, right? Because, like I said, right in the back here. Okay. Here's a couple other little things in this photo that are pretty funky. And then I'm going to show you something that you're going to go, wow, that's kind of bizarre. <laughs> because we're not surprised there, right? Uh, why NASA would possibly do this. But anyway, we've got this piece here. And you can see where it kind of like comes around like this. Goes up. And comes back down. Straight down right here. Looks like it goes like this on the other side, of course. Goes like this. Looks like it's got the bottom here. And you've got the side. But it also has what looks like this vertically rectangular area i'm going to go ahead and just fill that in a little bit and then you've got like this right here now funny thing about it, it looks like it has a little small shadow underneath it right here what is that here's another rock huh. a rock if you will look at this now that, because it's low res it's kind of hard to tell what that is but it looks like it does this and i just realized it's not i thought it was a an actual archway opening kind of thing but it has what looks like something you see that right there? If you look closely, and you can, it looks like if something goes up like this, like it's triangular, comes back down, and it looks like there's some kind of weird tubing thing that does this. I don't know if you, can, you guys can see that, but it's kind of thick. does this, 
and something's going off this way, going off this way. In other words, it looks like it's kind of going like this. And it's kind of thick right here, all in here, and it's going back over to this other white piece that's doing this. Now, I'm not sure what that is. Is it natural? I don't know. Not sure. It looks like it has some kind of weird round thing right here, too. I'm not sure what that is. Right there. And then, of course, you got the rest of the body of this thing. You guys can pause this video any way you like. Whatever that is, you can see it right here. It looks like this kind of weird A-frame or weird, like an A-shape. And it has this, like, tube coming out of right here. It's going like this. And, and like I said, I can see what looks like something triangular. I don't know too many rocks to do that, guys, but I could be wrong. You know what I mean? Because nature can do some bizarre things, like I said, uh, like uh, on, on Earth here, right? But to have an opening like this here in the side of something that doesn't look like a rock at all, just the way this thing is designed, but I do believe this may be a manipulation, meaning they went over something in here. I don't know. Let's jump back here. Now, here's another thing. See this mess back here? It just looks like a giant cluster, right? I don't believe this area right here is anything at all. I think it's a fudge area. And let me explain what I'm talking about. Right here, it has this weird piece, but it goes like this. goes down. Looks like it has like an opening right here. Another separation right there. goes like this. And yet, you can't see anything under here. This is something right here. Does this. It's like you're only seeing the top part of it because you can see something right here is kind of dropping in between. But I believe this is a fudge line. Why? So you don't see the actual height of what the rest of this item is. That's why I believe that that's BS right there. And something else right there. You can see it kind of going like this. Now, is it a lot of these rocks and stuff? Sure. Look at this funky looking crap right here. Look at this. It's literally off the ground and has a shadow under it. Let's, let's remove some of the shadowing. You can see that. See that object right there? And it looks like there's something right here. It looks like something straight going up underneath it. Yeah. Um, this object right here. And like I said, it, it's kind of bizarre how you just... You got something that looks like this oval opening right here. And you got like... It looks like the top of the other one right here. And I can't be sure. But it just so happens that underneath this... So you can't see if, if this thing is like this, or you can't, you just can't tell. You can't see it. Why? Because they're hiding it. Look at this thing. And this one's hard to see, but I just noticed this and didn't see this before doing the video. Right here. Check this out. It looks like the, whatever this thing has got like this white body to it, but check this out. It's, it looks like it has this weird hooded thing. And has this opening. Like I said, this white body of whatever the hell that thing is. See it? It's kind of like ghosted out, though, because you can almost see through it. So I'm not sure if that's a manipulation where they just try to take it out, or it's simply just because it's so low res, right? Look at this in, in the back. Check this out. See the line going like this, going down. Looks like an oval opening. And there's something actually white inside there. You can see it right there. And then it has another opening right here. I think these things are buried. Whatever they are, they're buried. And, you know, a lot of people would just say, well, you know, it's nothing more than speculation. Yes. Yes. I don't know how many times i got to say it. People are like, oh, you're nothing doing but nothing but speculating. Absolutely. <laughs> I can't, like I said a million times, I can't vet this stuff. I can't tell you. I can't walk up to it and hold it and say, yeah, well, it's what I thought it was. Or no, it's not what I thought it was. I don't know. But clearly, some of this stuff st stands out from the background. And look at this right here. I'm not even sure what the hell that is, but there's something right there. But look at the way this has this. See that? All right, guys. I told you I was going to go back to those other photos, and there's a reason for it. Let me jump back to it right here. And this is the one we just viewed. Well, there's another video that I had made a while back, and it's of the same area. Let me show you what I'm talking about. And it's right here at the nav cam, right B, or the right nav cam. And it was, uh, it was the picture was taken in 4-24-2014. Now, let's click on the photo, and this is the same one I showed what looked like some kind of weird vehicle that was buried three-quarters up the way of the windows. And you can see it right here. I'm just circling it with my 
my cursor, and it looked like it had the window, another window here, what looked, might be the front windshield, and had the roof top right here, and it's something like we'd see here on Earth, looks like a like a 2x4 jammed in the window. Now, is it a vehicle? No way to vet it. Now, I can tell you this, um, whatever that is, that's not, a, that's not a simple rock. It's just not a rock. Um, I believe it's some kind of machine. Is it some kind of weird vehicle? Uh, we also had this other object sitting right here. And you can see I'm circling that now. Where it had like this piece coming down. It looks like framework. goes across here. And then goes back down the other side. Another piece right here. And you can see that they whiten this stuff out. Like they like they just bring up the exposure so much on some of the lighted areas that it just makes it like a glare. Uh, and you can't see anything of any value. Or it's not clear at all, right? Uh, let's see if we can get right into that. Uh, well, there's that what looked like a, a vehicle or some kind of structure of some sort, whatever that may be right there. And we've got this other object right here. And if you look good, you can see something looks like it's kind of sticking or s sitting inside under this piece here. I don't know. But see, this is what I'm saying. This is of the same area of the one we just looked at which was this one right here. Just scroll down a little bit. I'm going to give you guys this page so you can analyze all of these if you like and see if you guys can find something crazy in there. And it's in the same kind of area. Uh, it's, it's, just, it's just there, man. And this is the same one we saw these other pieces in right here. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep it any longer. I told you I wouldn't make it too long. Um, but I do definitely want to bring this stuff to you guys. And uh, But give me your thoughts on this pareidolia stuff. I think pareidolia can be constructive. And what I mean by that is if, you, you know, they want to refer to bunny in the clouds, well, when you see what looks like 90-degree angles or some really good details, uh, even though they're in kind of low-res photos, but I'm not talking about this particular photo or this video. I'm talking about other ones I've done in the past where there's details in these things or stuff that just stands out from the environment. Um, I don't believe that's pareidolia. I think it's just seeing things that are actually there. And for some reason, people have this problem uh, just accepting the fact that there could have been intelligent civilization on Mars. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about the anomalies that I just showed you in this photo. And also, let me know what you think about uh, the other photo I showed you that I told you that I had done a video on, on that previously, uh, showing what looked like that vehicle that was buried three quarters up the window. And keep in mind, that's just part of the area that I just showed you in this video. It's just one big swath of area, and yet these uh, these objects or anomalies are in this area. As always, guys, just like, share, and drop a comment down below. Just give me your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Anyway, guys, got some good ones coming up for you, as always. So thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And we will see you in the next one.